So, um, this video is going to be on present active participles. So, a participle is just a verb um, that's going to act like an adjective and then it's going to describe nouns. A couple of examples here sleeping girl sits in my class. Sleeping is a verb, but it's describing the girl, it's telling you about the girl. Um, the second sentence, the sandwich, the word that describes it is eaten, telling us about the sandwich, even though eat is a verb. Uh, the last one, um, jumping describes the man, it tells us about him, it tells us what he's doing. So, um, there are two participles that you really need to know, the present active participle and the perfect passive participle. Um, this lecture is just about the present active. Uh, the present active participle, by its nature, the participle is happening right now. Um, and also, the noun that the participle describes is doing the action. What I mean by that is, um, in the first sentence, the sleeping girl sits in my class. The girl, who sleeping describes, is actually doing the action. You compare that with the second one, which is not a present active participle. Eaten is not a present active participle. Um, because... The sandwich isn't doing any eating. The sandwich isn't eating anything. And um, the eaten isn't happening now. It's happening in the past. Uh, lastly, I saw a man jumping through a wall of jello. Jumping just describes that man. It tells us about him and is absolutely happening now. Formation of the present participle. All you're going to do is take the base of the word and then add ns for the nominative and then ntis for the genitive. Uh, the only thing that's at all tricky is for fourth conjugations, verbs like audio, you're going to add an E to the base um, and then add an S. So you see the nominative forms here and then the genitive forms are all right here. Um, these are going to decline like a third declension adjective, as you can see here. Amons, amontis, amonti, m, e. Um, you can also use either E or I for the ablative form, and then ace, eum, ibus, ace, ibus. Um, the only thing that really sets this apart from a regular third declension noun is that I um, in the genitive, amontium. Okay, so that's going to do it for this lecture. Hope this has been helpful, and uh, I'll see you in class soon.